What's going on everybody? This is Shuggets with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. Today we are here at Quartero. This is a new neighborhood. It has a total of 53 lots available for sale. Uh, the builder here is Pardee. Some of you may know that Pardee built some nice mid-century exterior or elevations. So let's see what this model has. You only have three uh, models to actually choose from in this community. So this is a um, plan 2A. And plan 2A is 2,867 square feet. Has a total of three bedrooms, two and a half baths, loft and a lounge two-car garage now the base price which is the starting price on this model a starts off at 480,000 beautiful pavers the sids and lids balance of this one is two thousand dollars hoas is sixty nine dollars a month I do like this entry, that is a wide door, I think that is a 42 wide, 8 foot high. As we enter, love the high ceilings. love the pattern of the flooring it's really nice this community is located in Henderson my office is uh, about probably like five minutes away office is close by I just said offices is <laughs> love the living room oh look at that tile work on there it's pretty creative I love the corner windows when they do that you got your 12 foot sliders nine foot ceilings let's take a look at this island here you got quartz, beautiful island. The average lot is around like 4,500 square feet on this one. Love the sink. Come back over here, take a look. These are 42 upper cabinets, soft clothes. I'm sure this will have soft clothes in as well. Look at this, these are MC dovetails, nice. Let's take a look down here. Appliances, GE appliances. You have the stainless black, that's the new thing right now. cabinets with your glass I don't know if that's something that I would put in my kitchen but it does look cool though cook countertop love the extra faucet this runs about another 250 350 depending on the builder for an upgrade option you got your microwave stove Ooh, I like this right here. The pull out shelves for your pots. Nice and deep, I like that. Quality cabinets. This would be your mud room or valet. This would actually be your t utility room, however it is uh, locked. Uh, we have orange peel. Straight edge, two inch baseboards. 
and your trims are also two inches straight edge here's your pantry decent size this would be your two car garage however this is locked this is only a six foot door nice little cafe area here beautiful window bays make sure on your structural you will ask the sales rep what windows are actually included because some of these windows are actually a uh, upgrade so keep that in mind also the ceiling height too as well this may be nine you may have an option to go to ten or they may have a 10, but then technically you only start off with a nine and you wasn't aware of that upgrade. This also could be an upgrade too as well. Normally it is, the patio. Could range anywhere from 10 to 15,000, just depending. The backyard is all completely upgraded. Not bad with the uh, Sids and Liz, the bounce is only $2,000. You're probably about less than 10 minutes away from the 215. You have two, oh, whoops, two AC units. We got stucco. Nice stucco. We have a gas outlet there. They definitely will charge you for that. You have a utility closet underneath the staircase. All the doors are six, eight doors down here, but we have nine foot ceilings. So we have a bedroom downstairs. This bedroom looks to be about 12 by 12. Also, you want to check what comes pre-wired for each room because I can tell you right there those lights are not included. You may not get the pre-wired for the ceiling fan. Make sure you ask those questions. This is more of a modern type of home. That's why you have a design like this. Coming into the three-quarter, you have a floating vanity. three-quarter shower has a pan normally in the bathroom like this you'll just get the pedestal stink you will not get the vanity the alarms going off all right let's go upstairs see what we have up here Oh, here's your little loft area. One of the things that you need to do as well as with the structural upstairs is sometimes they will only sell you a 6-8 door and if you just only get the ceilings to be raised to 10 foot you definitely need an 8 foot door go you know what let's go down this way okay so 
up here so we have two AC units here's your two return lines for your air filter so we're gonna go here first here's your laundry room love the cabinets standard you're just gonna get a piece of uh, wood that goes across this is gas here's your utility box too as well I believe this is for your uh, Ethernet and all that stuff coming into the second bedroom now this one said it was uh, three bedrooms but on the sheet on the model but however definitely does look like it is a four bedrooms because one downstairs two up here and also we still have the master so it looks like it's an option This home doesn't seem like 2,800 square feet though. Now as you can see right here, you have a six foot door, well it's six eight, and a nine foot ceiling. Or it actually could be a 10 foot ceiling. Let me see here. Let me know, cause that's seven, eight, I would say nine foot ceiling. Oh, you know what, could be a 10 foot ceiling. Yeah, it is a 10 foot ceiling. So those two bedrooms, we get these two baths. Tub shower combo. I like the new um, tub shower combo that comes with the homes nowadays. The older ones are more round. These are more squared and modern now. I would definitely have to raise the doors on here um, I know they charge you I think it's normally around like 800 bucks uh, the door but make sure you might as well do all the doors coming into the master master is a good 15 by 20 lovely crown however we know that doesn't come with it also this is not a standard door uh, normally the doors, I think it's like 32 then 36. Um, one of those things you want to actually take a look out for. If you have the option to widen your door in the master, it's always better that way. And normally on a, a smaller home or smaller bedrooms, uh, developers will put a wider door so that way it just appears a lot bigger. Here's the master bath. Floors are a little bit busy, however, I think it's kind of cool. Here's your master throne. Wow, that's gorgeous. This is just simple and very elegant design. I'm loving this. However, that bench is a little bit small, but I would definitely make this bench a little bit bigger. I like the fact that they actually tiled this thing all the way. Definitely did it the right way here. This bathroom is definitely an upgrade, that's for sure. They have a one inch quartz. Nice sink. Massive closet. This is probably 10 by 12, so this is like an extra bedroom. All these shelvings, you could definitely uh, buy this yourself and install it yourself, it would be uh, cheaper. However, uh, these things are actually pretty pricey. 
I actually um, bought that for my garage for my shoes. I like the fact that you do have a window here too as well. If you had not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and uh, subscribe and also hit that notification button as well. Here's your rocker switch. However, I don't think you're going to get these lights, but you'll definitely get your three rocker switch. That's for sure. This railing here is definitely an upgrade. That's something that I would definitely uh, do and spend the money. If not, you're just going to have a solid pony wall. And, and it just does not look good. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this property. Do you think it is worth the asking price? Take one more loop around here. Also, I noticed we hit 44,000 subscribers. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for the support of the channel. Really, really do appreciate it. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.